Hey gang, it's Tom from TheNaturalDogTrainer.com and today we're going to talk about housebreaking in the Golden Retriever. Uh, one of the first skills you need to learn with any dog, not just a Golden Retriever, is to teach them how to go to the bathroom outside. The key to housebreaking, like all skills, is consistency on the part of the owner. If you're not consistent, that dog is never going to get trained. It's all in your lap. The Golden Retriever can learn anything if you're consistent in your training methods. Housebreaking for new owners. If you're a new dog owner, housebreaking should be one of the first things that you learn how to do. It should start the day your dog comes home with you. The first thing you need to learn is there's a big difference between housebreaking a puppy and an adult dog. Puppies are not physically able to control the muscles that allow them to basically hold it until they're about 12 years, weeks, of old, weeks of age. So in, during this time, patience is going to be a virtue. Expect your new puppy will go when he has to. He can't help it. He's not peeing on your floor, pooping on your floor because he wants to. He just can't help it. And I'm not saying you should wait till your puppy's three months old to begin housebreaking. Just need to be on your toes and catch the signs your puppy's about to go. Big hint in the dog world that is something's about to happen is turning in circles, smelling corners, that kind of thing. It's important that you limit the damage that can be done so you need to keep your new pet in a crate or confined to an easily cleanable part of the house. And don't forget to take your puppy out often. Follow this rule. Age in months times hours equals when they need to go out. Here's a quick example. Two months, dog needs to go out every two hours. Three months, dog needs to go out every three hours. Six months, dog needs to go out every six hours. All the way up to about eight months. Um, if he does go in the house, you need to clean it up thoroughly. Housebreaking is extremely difficult if your dog can smell places he's already went. Um, dog housebreaking and a crate. If you really want to train your dog, start out early by giving them a crate. They should want to sleep in it, eat in it. You know, this is their home within your home. For, for the first couple months, you, it's important that you keep your puppy in the crate when you can't be with them. But that doesn't mean all of the time. You can't put the dog in there in the morning. And forget about him for the rest of the day. He's got to go out on time. And you got to keep your eye on him for, for the uh, signs that he might have to go. Dogs don't like to go to the bathroom where they live. So you need a crate that's big enough that he can turn around in and that kind of thing. But not so big that he can have like a living room and a bedroom. Be on your toes. Keep an eye out for things that uh, the signs. Watch for pacing. Sniff into corners. Turning in circles. Yeah, that, that's a sure fire sign that something's about to happen <clears throat> when you're concentrating on housebreaking you can't lose track of the fact that the dog needs exercise he needs mental and physical stimulation so when you take him out he goes and piddles or whatever he's going to do spend some time out there playing with him uh, if you want some more in-depth in information on crate training and other things you can come by the naturaldogtrainer.com we've got some videos on that we've got some articles that'll help you out and a whole lot of other things uh, breaking now we're going to talk about the difference between house breaking a puppy and an adult dog it's a world of difference in a way it's a world of difference in a way and in a way it isn't the puppy can't hold it the adult dog can he just needs to learn the proper place to go you can use the same crate method you would with a puppy but scheduled times could be a little bit different. Here's what I do with all of my dogs, and believe me, I've got a herd. I go out at 7, you know, before breakfast, take them out again at 11. We head out at 3, then at 7 before din or after dinner, and 11 p.m. or right before bed. An adult dog should have no problem holding it through the night. Just make sure you give him plenty of opportunity to, so he goes on his last walk. Also make sure that my dogs go out right after being fed, like I said before, it's 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Um, I When I do this, it seems like they, you know, they automatically get to the point where they eat, they understand it's time to go out and go poop. Uh, training a golden retriever in your dog is easy if you keep your, sign, your eye out for the signs. Housebreaking a puppy can be somewhat different than an older dog, but... You'll learn quick on that one. I'm Tom from the naturaldogtrainer.com. Stop by for videos, articles, guides, and ask any questions that you like at the naturaldogtrainer.com.